Hey everybody! This week we're making a super simple recipe for chocolate cake balls. You can either make this recipe uh, with a cake recipe from scratch or you can make it uh, from a boxed cake mix. So I made a chocolate cake this morning uh, just from my own recipe because it was easier uh, which I'll link down below. And you can also, uh, I'm just using store-bought icing, Duncan Hines uh, regular vanilla um, and I'll show you what happens next. So this cake ball recipe, I've, uh, I've taken my baked cake and I've crumbled it into small pieces. Uh, I've taken about uh, half a container of this Duncan Hines whipped icing. Uh, this also comes in handy if, uh, if you've got kids and you want to include them in your baking. Literally, this is where your hands get dirty. So you're going to crumble your cake into bits, you're going to throw some icing on top, and you're just going to mix it together until the, um, we'll call it dough until the dough holds together enough to form balls that aren't crumbly at all. You want them uh, fairly sticky because they're going to be coated in chocolate later. You can see I've crumbled up uh, my cake. Again, that's why it doesn't matter what shape it's in. It's all going to end up in pieces anyway. And there's my icing on top. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, there's the icing on top. And you're just going to stick your hand right in there and start mixing it around. This is how it looks when it's all mixed together. Okay, so it's been about three hours and the cake balls have been in the freezer for that whole time. We're going to do the chocolate coating, so we'll take about an, a cup and a half of semi-sweet chocolate chips, a tablespoon of coconut oil, and stick it in the microwave for about a minute or until it's uh, smooth and there's no lumps when you stir it. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can uh, you can coat the, the cake part of the cake pops in, uh, in chocolate. You can either drizzle it on with a spoon or you can literally just pour the chocolate on or you can actually dunk the balls right into the chocolate. Uh, it's up to you. I find actually dunking the balls in is quite fidgety. Um, so you know what, it's just easier and less messy for you if you use a spoon. Then again, it's totally up to you. So here's the chocolate. This is the consistency we're looking for. You can see it's not super duper thin, but it's not so thick that it won't drizzle properly. If your chocolate starts to get a bit thicker because it's cooling off, just stick it back in the microwave. I've got the cake parts uh, on a just an old cookie sheet that I'm going to put right into the freezer afterwards. Spread them out evenly so you don't start, you know, getting them stuck together if they roll around. And put some tin foil down because this is going to get messy. So these are the cake balls after you've put the chocolate on, uh, and I chose to put sprinkles on mine because they're going to be used in place of a birthday cake. Um, you can see it's very messy, but once they're frozen, they should just pop right off the tin foil. So don't worry too much about the mess. Just make sure that they're on a flat surface in your freezer. So right now these are going to go back into the freezer, and they should be ready in two to three hours. Here's the second batch after they've been coated in chocolate. So I've left the middle ones just plain. Uh, I happen to have some sliced almonds, so those are the ones on the right, unsweetened coconut, and so those are the ones on the left. And these are all going to go straight in the freezer. When they're ready, you can just take them off the sheet. You can just store them in regular Tupperware. Hey everybody, so it's the next day. Um, I took half of the cake balls that I made to a birthday party last night and they went over really well. Uh, the other half I still have here with me, as you can see, um, and they've frozen up nice and they're really delicious, but that's my own opinion. Uh, if you want, you can, you know, go to the dollar store and get some sticks to make them proper cake pops. Um, I'm not going to bother. Nobody who I'm giving them to really cares, you know, if they look like the Starbucks cake pops as long as they, they taste good. Also, don't forget, with these cake pops, uh, they're really easy to change up. So if you don't like chocolate cake, uh, you know what, go out, get a vanilla cake mix, some vanilla icing or, you know, strawberry icing, whatever you like, and some white chocolate you can make. Uh, you can make white ones if you want to use carrot cake in the middle and cream cheese icing and then white chocolate on the outside you can make uh, carrot cake cake balls or cake pops. Um, you know what, go crazy. I am going to sign off here. I will see you guys next Monday. I've got a bit of a different video planned so I hope you like it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all later.